Oh my God, <laughs> this is one of the most unique horror movies I think I've ever seen. Let's review Malignant. Malignant stars Annabelle Wallace, George Young, Maddie Hassan, and is directed by James Wan. What is up guys? It's time to review the new James Wan movie and I gotta say going into this, it's weird because it might be the most secretive or the least marketed James Wan movie I've ever seen. Like what the hell? Like I've seen trailers for this movie but it's a James Wan movie. So I was thinking there'd be a lot more coverage, fanfare for it. But uh, after seeing the movie, I kind of understand why there's so much hush-hush uh, around this movie. Uh, there, I'll just say this is a spoiler-free review. And I think they did a great job in this trailer of not giving you really anything. Uh, it looked like your typical supernatural a ghost type of horror movie. you know, And that's not giving anything away. The trailer just looks like that. But... Uh, Sometimes trailers can be strategically deceiving. And I think they did a great job of masking what this movie really is. One thing I can tell you that this is, is it is a slasher, for sure. But it might be the most unique slasher I think I've ever seen. And one other thing I can tell you about this movie is it is 100% James Wan. So anyway, before we... Uh, dig deeper. Let's give you a quick plot synopsis. Our main character is Madison, played by Annabelle Wallace, who looks completely different as a brunette, by the way. I'm looking at IMDb right now, and I almost didn't even recognize her because she's blonde on IMDb. And I thought I recognized her. I've seen her in other things before. But she's our main character. This is a character that uh, she's had miscarriages. Uh, a couple of them in the past, and there's a reason for that. Now, there's this killer in the movie by the name of Gabriel. But the way the killings happen is much more of like a supernatural fashion because as the killings are happening, she is seeing everything that is going on. What a torturous thing because you could be in the middle of doing your daily routine and then all of a sudden when these murders are happening, they crop up all around you. And that's where you see like the beautiful visual effects from the mind of the master James Wan. And there's a reason for that, which is not what I'm going to get into, because that's definitely spoiler talk. Uh, so it's not just flash. It, it, there's actually a purpose behind these very unique visual effects. As this character is seeing everything unfold in front of her, these heinous crimes. Now, this is not a perfect movie, but it's definitely got some greatness going on for it. Uh, first thing, James Wan. Like, when I watch his movies, it feels like he's two steps ahead of every other director in Hollywood in terms of horror. And he doesn't just do horror, he did he did Aquaman. He's like a, a visual maestro. And you would think, you know, doing this lower budget horror movie, because horror movies do tend to be lower budgeted, that uh, he could play it safe and go practical. And, and we all tend to like prefer practical effects, but uh, sometimes CGI can serve a purpose. And in a movie like this, you, you have to have CGI for a lot of the scenes. Uh, and if you're going to do that, then James Wan could handle it and sell it. And that's what he does. But there's a good mix of that, too. But just in terms of, you know, setting a scene, uh, choosing your camera movements uh, to scare an audience, because I think people take for granted how important camera movements are in terms of horror. I mean, literally, that's what scares the audience. If you just have the camera sitting there, yeah, that can be effective. John Carpenter is a master of that. But if you don't know what you're doing... If you don't know how to have things in the foreground, in the background, play around with the scene, then it can come off as boring. But then you got guys like James Wan who get very acrobatic with the camera, almost like a musical instrument, you know, like a paintbrush. They, they paint their picture with the camera. You're going to see shots that are clearly from above going from room to room. You're going to see shots that quickly pan around with such precision, you know, but you can tell that everything is for a purpose. You can tell that everything James Wan does is clearly mapped out brilliantly. And it's a treat. That's, that's exactly what it is, you know. It keeps you interested through and through. And there's some creepy ass scenes in this movie for sure. Now, I didn't know what type of movie this was going to be. I mean, obviously I thought it was gonna be more of a supernatural type of movie. And there are elements of that in here. 
and uh, I know this is a spoiler free review, but one thing I definitely want to mention because you will notice this pretty early on in the movie that this feels like a slasher movie, okay? So slasher fans, you're in for a treat here because it's not only a slasher movie, but it gets bloody as hell. The, the killer has a, a signature to him, um, even, even down to the weapon, even down to the look. Everything about the killer is, I think, interesting, but vicious, very vicious, which was a nice surprise. You can tell that James Warren is a fan of all different types of horror, you know, the more subconscious type of horror, but he's also a big fan of blood and guts, and this is the movie for you. Plenty of that. And I think he kind of winks at you with really like the score of this movie because the score is just very lively and ambitious and sometimes bombastic honestly i think the score in this movie makes it feel like kind of a sam raimi horror movie it just has that vibe to it and last thing that can kind of bleed into the cons is there is a twist in this movie and i can see this twist dividing the audience i actually enjoyed it quite a bit I think I loved it even, you know, I just watched this movie, but this twist made this movie like one of the most unique horror movies I think I've ever seen. Uh, and the execution of this twist and being able to direct the, the, the movie from this point forward, and you'll know what I'm talking about when you see the movie, is a feat in and of itself, you know? Uh, and I think only James Wan could handle it the way he does. Now, really the only cons for this movie, and it's a big one, I guess you could say, is some of the characters. You know, this does have that cliche detective trying to, you know, research and solve the case. And uh, this is stuff that we've, we've seen so many times before, but it doesn't really have that chilling factor like, say, Seven, you know, where you had that great team of Mills and Somerset. You know, there was a darkness to that. And I think in this movie, I would have wanted more of a darkness to it. Don't get me wrong, it's dark. You know, it's bloody violent for sure. But uh, I think the, the detectives and the research behind the case could have really just brought it home. But personally for me, I didn't hate the detectives. As a matter of fact, there is one scene that reminded me of like the, the alley chase scene with the rain and everything in Seven. And that was probably one of the most exciting scenes in this movie. So I'll definitely give him props for that. I just didn't think all the characters were 100% there for me. So in the end, guys, man, I'm really having a tough time with the rating on this. It's either a low purchase worthy or a high humdrum because it's, I mean, it's so damn close. You know what? I'll be generous. I'll give it a low purchase worthy, okay? I think a lot of you guys are going to get a kick out of this movie, especially in terms of like the violence. If you're a slasher fan, I think you're going to dig this for sure because the kills are crazy. So anyway, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think of Malignant in the comments. Looking forward to hearing them. Actually, really looking forward to hearing them. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks where we talk horror all day and every day and on Fridays. We do free for all Fridays. Follow my drum drums on all my socials. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day and drum them out.